Uh, I, I would say now it's finally gotten to me it's maybe even more emotional and it's a little scary because I don't like to show it that much but uh, I have a feeling I'm going to. Really? Do you have a speech that you're going to have to carry out with you? Or? <laughs> you know I thought about that and I may bring one out with me but I doubt that I'll you know refer to it because I just want to say what you know emotionally how I feel at that time and hopefully I can say the right words. I'm looking forward to it. Were you kind of surprised when they originally told you that they wanted to honor you? Did you have any inkling this was coming? No, I really had no inkling, and I was really shocked because uh, I, I felt like that my time more or less had passed because it was such a long time ago, and our decade of players had not been overlooked, but just the fact that it had been such a long period of time. And, and you know, I feel that Dean Spanos and, uh, and the Charger family uh, did, you know, did a great thing not only for me but for the decade of, of our players. And you, you were signing some autographs for some guys out there. That had to be kind of neat, too. So, uh, it was it Marty who had your jersey and Hardwick who had a ball? Well, we gave you know, we gave him the jersey. It was sort of, that was a gesture from uh, some of the guys and from, from me. So that was, it was a fun thing. But, no, we, uh, you know, it... it uh, it, it's really it's really fun to see the guys ask you for your area because you know they don't it's been 40 years 50 years since I played 40 yes 40 some odd years long long time and uh, you know you think everybody's going to forget about you and, for, and and they probably would have I think they showed them a film this morning of, of some of my play so they sort of you know, had a little different perspective than, hey, there's just an old uh, gray-haired guy walking out here to say, <laughs> tell us how to play this week. So it, it's, it's been really neat being out here with the guys. They've, they've got a great team effort going now, and that's what it takes. You have to be, you know, everybody's part of that team. Were you surprised at all that the, there was that much you know, interest in the players in you? Because you hear now, you know, today's players don't care about history and, you know, and that sort of thing. But they, I know they've tried to... Well, you know what, I, I think they all too. care about history. I mean, uh, all, all the players do. I, I think what you're seeing here today is is a is a team that's getting together as a team. I, I don't think you have that. I mean, you look at what's happening at Philadelphia and what happens with other teams. You have to, you know, you have 50 guys playing and you've got to get along and you've got to be part of that team to, to make anything happen. And that's what's happening here in San Diego. That's why we're winning. These guys are playing as a team and playing for one another, and that's what you have to do. Have you stayed a fan all these uh, years? Do you watch most of the games? Or? I watch just about all the Charger games. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. We have some great players, and uh, it's fun to watch them play. You say, does this offense at all the last couple of years now with, with you know, <coughs> Breeze and Gates and, and Tomlinson especially, does it remind you at all of the more of the kind of the wide open days that you uh, that you played in? Well, you know, these guys play a different kind of football than we did. <laughs> and uh, LT is fabulous with what he does. Breeze does a super job of, of picking everybody apart and, and realizing what's happening on the field. And then Gates is, you know, Gates is Gates, and he's going to be get better as time goes on. And uh, that's hard for some of the secondary guys that we are going to play to believe, but that's probably what's going to happen. And with he and LT and uh, Mr. Breeze and the blocking that they get, they can go a long way. Would you like to have a game, one game, where you could go out there and play without somebody mauling you all the way down the field like they have uh, <laughs> past five yards today? I wouldn't know what that game was like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, I don't think that would be any fun for me. But uh, it, it might be fun to see the results, but it wouldn't be fun for me to originally play that way. Is but. that the biggest difference that you see in the game? I mean, I, I guess the size of the players as well, but I mean, is that one of the, the big differences that the, the wide open nature that, you know, DBs can't get their hands on? Well, you know, they've with. changed a lot of rules mm -hmm. and, and not only for the DBs, but for a lot of other things too. So it is a little bit of a different game and, and what happens is the offenses and defenses change accordingly and they make their adjustments and they go on. And that's why it's very difficult to compare uh, guys from one time to another because of that. I mean, you have to take all that into consideration, and uh, so you just can't really compare. You just have to look at the guys playing now and say, God, he's great. <laughs> you enjoy the so, rules the way they are now and, and watching the game the way it is, or do you miss some of the old, uh, some it, of the old stuff? I, I don't really enjoy uh, watching them get away with, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not getting away, but I, don't, I like to watch the contact between the offensive ends and, and the defensive backs. I think the defensive backs are getting the, the bad end of it. I think of the offensive guys, uh, the offensive guy knows where he's going, and uh, you're running forward, and the poor defensive guy, he's looking, you know, he's running backwards, and he has no idea what's happening. So you need to give him a little something, you know, and they've taken everything away from him. 
So uh, it's a different game, though. As I said, it's just uh, you know a different time, different game. Still fun to watch. Right. <laughs> Do you mind doing the rest of this press conference and doing sit-ups? Did he show it off? <laughs> <laughs> well, can I have some dumbbells? <laughs> <laughs> Are you impressed with what they've done with the alumni here, trying to trying to get the guys back involved? Uh you know, I'm uh, I'm very thankful for that because it means a lot. Uh, to the to the guys playing as well as the guys that played a long time ago, I think it's a great move, and uh, you know the organization has done it, and uh, Jim Steig has stepped into and, and helped with a lot, and the coach has done, you know, he's changed his ideas. So there's been a big, uh, in, you know, there's a lot of innovations going on here, and, and you see the results because we're winning. Did you address the team today? I didn't really address them. I said a couple words. <laughs> Can you say what those couple words were? <laughs> Oh no, uh, you know, not really. I just tell them they were doing a great job, and uh, you know they need, uh, as they're doing, to continue to play together as a team. And you know that's uh, that's the main issue. So, Are you, so do you sort of have your speech in mind for for Sunday? Or? No, not at all. I, uh, you know, I might write down a few things just so I won't forget everything if I get too emotional. But no. <laughs> One of the players saying they wanted, you know, appreciate you coming out and wanted. To, knew Sunday was a special day and wanted to try to make it special for you. I mean, do you think that players can get a little boost at all from, you know, from a day like this with the old uniforms, the old players being around? And, well, you know, it may give them a little perspective on uh, on the years to come to where they may be saying, hey, I want to look back at this game and, uh, you know, for some reason or other and, and say I played well that particular day. So uh, it, it could help. You know, I don't think it can hurt anything. <laughs> <laughs>